we've all likely been stuck behind a driver in the left lane going below the speed limit, and that can be frustrating for a whole lot of people. Now, however, there's an Iowa lawmaker who says, move over or pay a fine. Kim St. Ange explains what this means for drivers. Kevin Watts has spent the last seven years driving for a living and admits he gets irritated when he's stuck behind someone going too slow in the left lane. Time is money, and that's a delay we don't need. That's why Watts supports a bill that would require people driving in the left lane on interstates and highways to not go any less than 10 miles per hour below the speed limit, or they could face a $100 fine. I would support that bill if they're going five miles an hour less than the speed limit in the left lane. House Transportation Committee Chairman Josh Burns introduced the bill after hearing dozens of drivers tell him it's more than just annoying, it's a safety issue. Move over or drive the speed limit in that lane, but but don't force people to pass you on the right side. Craig Johnson agrees. He drives about 55,000 miles a year for his job. What's even more frustrating is when you have a car in the right lane that's driving one speed and the car in the left lane and it drives exactly the same speed. Senate Transportation Committee Chairman Todd Bowman is skeptical of the bill and says there are more important issues to tackle, like distracted driving. We want to maybe do a better job of educating people what the behavior is we're looking for before we start taking out the heavy stick and trying to extend uh, steeper fines. For drivers like Watts and Johnson who spend hours a day on the road, dealing with drivers going too slow is unavoidable. It is very annoying. So they hope this bill at least spreads this message, drive the speed limit or move over. Kim St. Andre with that report for us. Now the bill will first head to a subcommittee for a vote before it could be voted on in the full House.